Capitol Hill, the recently assembled 85th Congress convenes in joint session to hear President Eisenhower's message outlining the dangers inherent in Russia's Middle East ambitions. Russia's rulers have long sought to dominate the Middle East. This was true of the Tsars. It is true of the Bolsheviks. The reasons are not hard to find. Now, these reasons do not affect Russia's security, for no one plans to use the Middle East as a base for aggression against Russia. Never for a moment has the United States entertained such a thought. The Soviet Union has nothing whatsoever to fear from the United States in the Middle East or anywhere else in the world, so long as its rulers do not themselves first resort to aggression. The president then submits a series of military and economic steps the administration proposes to counteract the Red Menace, the last of which electrifies the nation. It would, in the third place, authorize such assistance and cooperation to include the employment of the armed forces of the United States to secure and protect the territorial integrity and political independence of such nations, requesting such aid, against overt armed aggression from any nation controlled by international communism. 